Hello again to anyone who follows me and welcome to anyone who's watching this for the first time. This is a, a vicarage that's empty at the moment and before they get the next vicarage they just want to clean it. Um, I keep saying it and I keep I keep repeating myself on my videos and the reason for that is like now there might be someone watching it for the first time and you might think you know what the hell are you doing why are you why, why are you sort of damaging them shrubs and things like that. I like to do a good job I like to do a professional job but there's two there's two um, it's 50 50 here there's two two sides to this they want all this removing from around the house all around the house they don't want any shrubs or garden to go into the house so all that's got to go. The first thing I thought of is I'm going to salvage them. There's all sorts of all like little euonymus that look at this euonymus. I mean, if you bought that, it would probably be about probably be about sixty, seventy pound. Um, but just regardless of the money, I really like to save plants if I can. The other side of the coin, the other fifty percent is I'm a businessman and I've given a price and I need to do the job quick. So I may not salvage anything. So I'm explaining that because when you see me in the video demolishing like nice plants, trust me, it just gives me heart heartache. I really, really, and I'm not just saying that, it really does bug me. There's nothing I can do. They've got to go. There's lots of times I'm, I'm cutting plants down now. I'd love to save. I've got no room for them. I'll spin you around and just show you the rest of the garden what we're doing today. And this is just getting pruned and neatened and tidied. So as always, I'll get on with that. So when I was doing this video now and introducing it, I didn't realise it was going to take so long. So I am afraid I'm going to split the video up into at least two parts. It could even be three, but I will put the links in the description of each video. So when you're watching this video, it'll probably come to an abrupt end because I didn't phase the video out. No, when I was gonna, I was gonna split it, but there will be, you know, a part two and a part three if, if that if that comes to it. So just check in the description for the link. And this blade I'm using is the Oregon mulching blade. I will put a link in the description. And you can get yourself one off on an Amazon link in. You can get yourself one off Amazon. They are absolutely brilliant. As you can see here, they work like magic.
and this is fantastic even on the grass I know it's for the brambles but as you can see it works fine on the grass especially in my hands <laughs> Time for a quick break. Uh, I'm in Manchester at the moment and I live on the Wirral, so it's about, I don't know, 20 odd miles away, 25 miles away, maybe something like that. Yeah, I'm in Nutsford actually, it's Greater Manchester. Uh, when I set off this morning, it was absolutely hammering down. I mean, I wasn't even going to come in and I do work in the rain, it doesn't bother me working in the rain. I've got my wet gear, it's not the greatest, but you know, I'll get on with it. It was that heavy this morning that I thought to myself, I'm not even going to go in. It's not worth it. It's just, it's, it was just torrential. By the time I got here, there was no rain. Uh, so I've been working this morning. It's been really comfortable. I've got my wet gear on, just in case. But now I'm going to just stop for a coffee. And if you can just see, if it picks it up, they're coming over here. So maybe that's what we, we had back in Liverpool and it's coming over here. But regardless, anyway, I'll... Uh, I'll just plod on. Weather's not going to stop me. Just a little bit of bright cloud just there. <laughs> that, that's it. That's the brightest. Then after that, it looks pretty grim. Anyway, I'm going to get a coffee. I'll see you all in a second.
So we've worked our way down. Uh, just cleared it for now. I've got to dig the saplings out yet and I've still got to prune, which you'll see in a second. Just going to hit this border now. I undecided what to do. Sorry, I was undecided what to do. What I'm going to do now is obviously the rhododendron is the better shrub out of anything else that's growing. So I'm going to leave that as a the prominent uh, growth and I'm just going to get everything else down to the ground because that won't even look good if I pruned it, if I cut it back a bit. And it's got to be cut back anyway. But I actually don't know what's in here yet. It might just be a lot of oak trees popping up. So we'll just play that by here and I'll get on with that and we'll attack that. Okay, so I still haven't decided what I'm doing yet, but whatever I'm doing, these have got to be pruned down. So I'm going to take the hedge cutter all the way around uh, the garden for whatever needs pruning back. So I'll get on with that. Easier to dig out, get some of these out the way. Right, so that's just made that a little bit. I've still left some on so I can push it and pull it. So, all these here uh, need digging out, and then I'll concentrate on getting the floor a little bit tidier. But these are little jobs here where you realise you know, you bit off quite a big chunk. So all that's got to come down. It's got to go somewhere. And this, it's a shame I've got to cut all them buds off. It's, it's got to come out. I may not even save it, but we'll see. So I'll get on with pulling all this old rose down. So that hoop, hoop comes in handy, but if you do remember the review I done, I wasn't asking what the hook was for. I understand what the hook's for, but I didn't understand why it slipped down, and I still don't. <laughs> going to prune it, prune it off now. I say prune, just basically cut it down. Well, I think any um, chance of saving it is just gone. I mean, it's been cut back already there. And it's so thick and old. I'm just gonna have to dig it out. I'm just gonna have to cut all the branches off and dig it out. I don't think it could be saved. The only other option is, as I say, it's coming out anyway, is to cut it right down to the bottom and then transplant it and just hope. And that's what, it, just hope, just because if the root does take it, it'll soon grow quick because all the energy is in the root ball. But it's certainly gonna look scruffy and the chances are slim. But you know what? It's got to come out anyway. Okay, so I've just cleared all that. Um, it's pretty thick, but yeah, I can dig it out. Of course I can dig it out. But it's 
thicker than what I thought and to save it I'm, I'm probably not even going to attempt it to be honest with you so all, it, all, these, all these have got to be dug out now but at least we can see what's what and I'll come the next day or it won't be tomorrow but the next time I can come I'll bring a shredder they can just stay there and I'm just going to work my way round now anyway that needs the hedge cutters which is probably up here and the rain stayed off by the way it's been a, it's been a fine day it's been great been a bit chilly but so I'm just going to take the hedge cutter along anywhere where I can just think it needs it I'll get on with that I'm afraid this is where we're going to have to leave this video because it is just getting too long so there will be a part two just check it out in the description thanks very much for watching see you on the next episode